Hello and welcome to Microsoft Excel tutorial from IT Army and this is tutorial number 62 and in this video we are going to talk about advanced filtering in the previous video we talked about auto filtering it had some limitations so those limitations we're going to address over here in this video so let's get started so to work with advanced filter you need to have at least two table ranges created the first table range is the actual data on which you want to perform filtering and the second one is the criteria table where you have the criteria specified so to create this criteria table i can put on the separate sheet i can put within the same sheet left bottom or top so the best practice is to put at the top so i can just insert some records to make space and now i'm gonna put over here the record now the criteria table the heading should be exactly the same as of your data on which you want to apply filtering so if i want to put a criteria for last name i will type in over here last so i'm going to look for all the records where last name is adams and then i can perform the search criteria now the best practice is to link to this cell so in case if i make changes to this cell this should automatically get updated so how can you do this is you can simply right click the border drag and release and you say link this cell here so this way you can see that this cell is pointing to this cell if i make changes to this column name it's going to be updated or you can perform the paste special if i say Control c over here Control alter v and you say i want to paste the link over here so if i make changes if i say last name you're going to see it automatically gets updated now how to use auto filter i have given one criteria and now i select over here and i click on advance now you have two options over here you want to perform filter in place same like auto filter or you want to copy the filtered content to some other location so as of now i'll be going ahead with this one and then we have two options what is your list range on which you want to apply the filtering and second one is that where is your criteria range where you have specified the criteria so list range excel has automatically selected for me and i want to enter the criteria so this is my criteria table only one column two rows and when i click on ok all the records with the last name adams you are getting over here so now i can again clear the filter now if you want to have filter on multiple columns that also you can do so i can simply click Control c Control alter v and paste the link so if i want to specify that i want all the atoms from state alaska i can type in like this and now if i perform the filtering i can click on advance this is my list range and my criteria range is this time this column so even if you don't have any criteria if you select that there is no problem in that so we have only one criteria given i'm looking for the guys all the record where last name is adams and the state is alaska and i click on ok and now you are getting only two records so this thing definitely was possible using auto filter also now what was not possible with auto filter i'm going to show you over here now if in case i move this record down now what this means is that give me all the record where last name is adam and give me all the record where state is alaska right so in total what i want to say is that give me all the records either last name is adams or state is alaska so let's do the filtering so advanced filter and this time i have two records over here so i'm going to select this and now when i click on ok now you are getting all the guys from alaska where last name is not adam and some cases you have last name adam where they are not from alaska state so this is how you can perform the filter operation definitely you can add multiple records now i'm going to give you one more example over here now sometimes it happens that somebody gives you a list that you have he is looking for some records over here uh, uh, let's insert a few more okay so these are the records now if you want to perform filtering one by one it would be quite tedious but using advanced filter you can easily get all these records over here so i can say click anywhere within the range advance and this time my criteria range is only this much so give me all the record where id equals to either 66 or 45 or whatever numbers i have typed in and now when i click on ok you can see easily you can you got all those records what i was looking for so this is pretty good for performing search criteria if you have a list of items you're looking for now let's clear the filter 
Now let's talk about paste option. So when I was going on to the advanced, you had option over here, copy to another location. When I select that, you're going to see we have third text box getting enabled and where it's asking you is where you want to copy. So if I just scroll down a bit, And over here, if I want to perform the paste, I have selected that. Now when I click on OK, now you can see that whatever records I have performed the filter on, all these records I'm getting over here. So this is how we can perform the filter paste operation. Now if I want to perform the paste on the second column, so if I say advance, I want to copy these records to another location. And that location, I want to go to the second sheet let's first of all create one more sheet and then i want to perform the filtering advanced filter my criteria range is still the same and now i want to copy the records but i want to copy to different locations so i want to go to sheet and here i want to paste it and now when i click on ok you're gonna see that you are getting an error saying that you can only copy the data to the active sheet so what does it mean is that you are not able to copy to some other sheet so what i need to do is if i want to get the result over here first of all i need to make this sheet as active and then i need to initiate the data filtering so now if i have made this sheet active now if i click on advance and now if i go to the second sheet and i say that give me records from this cell i select all the cells from here control shift right down this table is selected then i select my criteria range this is also from the employees control home and i select all these records and then copy uh, copy to this location and click on ok and you are getting all the records so this is how we can perform the copy operation to another sheet also, we had option over here for filtering. So if I say that I want to get all the unique items from here, I can select perform filter operation. And I want to get all the unique records. I don't want to specify any criteria. So delete that. So just give me unique records for this particular column that I have selected control shift down and click on OK. Now you are getting all the unique records for that city. Now this is all about advanced filtering. Now I'm going to show you some more complex stuff. So let's see. Let me clear. Now what was the limitation of auto filter is that you cannot use some custom function for, for a criteria. But here you can perform. For instance, if I want to say that I want all the guys with the last name, number of characters is 5. So you know that we can use the length function to find the number of characters in a name. So I just need to type in over here. I say equals to len and i don't need to refer by the label i just need to point to the first cell in that column and then i say equals five so what i want to say is if length of the name equals to five this is my criteria now because this is a custom expression i'm not going to give any heading name over here and whatever expression you type it must evaluate to a logical value of true or false now if i want to perform the filter criteria this is the table range that I want to perform the filter on and this is my criteria and on the criteria you need to be careful you have to select along with the header where in heading you don't have any name given over here right even if you want to give you can give definitely but it should not match with any of these existing column names and now if I click on OK now you are seeing all the names you are getting over here where the last name are five characters so this is one example you can definitely create much much more complex functions to perform more complex filtering so that was all about advanced filtering hope you like this video if you have any other questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video